Hello, in this session we're going to be unboxing the Suprema Face Light Terminal. So let's get started. So the Face Light Terminal was introduced after the Suprema Face Station 2, so it's a newer device. It's quite compact, uh, but it's got an awful lot of features in it uh, to rival the Face Station 2. Uh, so here it is, here out of the box. Uh, as you can see, nice uh, uh, portrait style design and if I have a look at the back, it's got its back plate attached and just unscrew that and have a look at that back plate, so there it is there uh, it's got some uh, wiring diagram uh, with wiring colours on there should you need to know which uh, terminal connectors to plug in at the back as you can see those, those terminal connectors are very very small there but uh, I'll show you those in the box in a moment so the back plate would screw to the wall, um, I've just got two holes for that, um, I guess you could uh, mount some extra holes in the back plate if you really wanted to do that and make it more secure. Uh, that would go on the back plate, this hooks in and it's uh, uh, secured using a little grub screw at the bottom under there. Okay. Uh, network connection is a standard RJ45 socket in the back there. Um, and well, let's have a look at some of those connectors there now. So, in the box we have a packet, and I've got a whole bunch of different wires in there. Now, the one that we're going to be most interested in today is this two-wire connector here. Uh, just red and black, that's your power, plus and, net, plus and minus. Uh, now, really important thing about the face light, just like the face station 2, is they don't run on 12 volts. They run on 24 volts. Um, they specify, specify a 2.5 amp power supply. Um, so I have one over here ready, waiting to go. Um, now, the other thing to mention about this sort of red and black cable is the other end, the, the connector end, is, is currently bare. So what we tend to do is make up uh, a little um, 2.1 mil uh, socket on the end of a of cable like that. Uh, which allows us to plug in a standard 2.1 mil barrel connector, which I have here. So if I just pop that in, and then I'll plug it into the back of the bias, oh, sorry, the face light to power it up. Now it only goes one way around. Make sure I get that right. So in it goes there. So once it's in, it's actually quite secure. You can give that a firm tug. It's not going to come out, um, and then it's going to start booting itself up. Uh, it just takes about 30 seconds or so to start booting up um, and up it comes. So, so we get the usual Suprema jingle as it comes up. Um, now uh, we're going to be looking at the menu options and how to enrol faces on here on, on later sessions but I uh, just wanted to show you what it looked like, how it, how it mounts to the wall, how we can power it up and get a network connection in. Uh, so when it's mounted on the wall, in an ideal scenario, cables will be coming in directly from the back of the unit. Um, so also the height um, of the device is really important to get right as well. You want to try to fit it to the wall at such a height so that it's uh, suitable for uh, the shorter members of staff that you might have. Uh, we tend to find somewhere around 140 centimeters to the top of the unit to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good yardstick for it. Um, but you may need to uh, uh, reconsider that for your, your own circumstances when you're installing. Uh, so the, the unit's got quite a lot of uh, capability, um, just like the face uh, face station 2 it has a 3000 employee capacity um, that's on uh, one to end mode so uh, just using face only to verify yourself um, it has you know 3000 employees can be on there um, that would reduce slightly if you happen to want to enroll more than one face per person so that can sound a bit strange but you can enroll uh, an employee employee's face with their glasses on and with their glasses off for example um, so I think you can enroll up to five faces per employee I believe but obviously that, that would bring down the total number of users you have available to put on here. Uh, okay so uh, 
there's a USB slot down at the very bottom there so if you needed for whatever reason to collect your clocking data or, or um, ac access the data from the device uh, using a, a USB stick I think you can do that from, from within here uh, you can set that in the menu to be disabled by default if you wanted to do that um, it's uh, not a touch screen display it's quite a small display um, but uh, you basically use the four um, keys down at the bottom here to, to navigate around. One thing to note as well is it has only a single camera on the front. Um, the Face Station 2 has got two cameras, an infrared camera and a, a, vis a, vis a visible light camera. Uh, this one only has an infrared camera on it. So um, if you sort of look at yourself on the screen when, at the point of enrolment, you get quite a sort of uh, uh, black and white sort of image. Um, that's because it's not got the, the, the visible light camera as part of it. But that doesn't seem to um, diminish uh, the product particularly. Um, it also works in a wide variety of different uh, lighting conditions. Um, so uh, it can work in, in very dark conditions to really rather bright conditions. I, I would still suggest considering where you locate your device though because um, direct sunlight shining on it, it's, it's not going to be at its best if, if, that's, if you have that scenario. So if you, if you try to keep it somewhere where the lighting levels are fairly constant, it tends to work at its best then. Okay, so I think I've talked about that long enough. Um, thank you very much and we'll see you again in, in a future session.